Brushes are not the only tool employed by the masters. Hi, I'm Julie Fape Ann Balzer, your host on Make It Artsy. Today's creative makers and artists are here to show the many mediums and tools employed by the masters and those inspired by them. We begin with inspiration from Camille Pissarro. He was a Danish French impressionist and neo impressionist painter born on the island of St. Thomas. Now, I know him mostly from his beautiful landscapes that he did. And I've looked at his paintings many times, and then I started to find out that he painted with a knife, with a palette knife. So I immediately went to look through all of my collection of palette knives, and I discovered something interesting, which is actually, I have mostly painting knives. Well, so what's the difference? So a palette knife is what's used for mixing paint, and it usually either has no bend or a very small bend, as opposed to a painting knife, which is meant for painting, has a very deep bend. And the reason for that bend is so that when you hold it, your knuckles don't get into the paint. Now, painting knives come in a variety of different tips. You can get them flat, you can get them shaped, you can get them in different sizes, and all of it just depends, just like brushes, on what you prefer. So I am starting on some canvas, and we're just gonna go ahead and do a very quick base coat. And you'll see that I'm just squeezing the paint out, and then I'm gonna take my painting knife, and I'm just gonna paint in it. And you might think, Julie, this doesn't look a lot like painting. And what I think is the fun thing about painting with a knife is that you kind of have to let go of the control freak within yourself. Now, I like to mix a lot of colors directly on here. I often have like 10 tubes of paint open because I'm just trying to get color and I'm mixing two different blues and a black and I'm not being very careful. I'm leaving all of my strokes. I'm letting all of that be there. I wanna go all the way to the edge so I am protecting my surface with something. And you do of course wanna use a nice thick heavy bodied paint. Now the good news when you're cleaning a knife is there's no water, there's no mess. You just take a paper towel, clean it off, and now you're ready to go into a contrasting color. So I'm gonna go ahead now and squeeze out some more paint. And sometimes I actually put two colors on at the same time. Maybe we should even go for three. I like to use metallics too because I find that that shine can add a lot of interest. But look at this. It's super duper fun to do. So this is my base layer, which is just the very beginning of my work. Most of this is not going to show. Once I am ready to go on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my paint thicker. Now the way that you make your paint thicker is by mixing it with some modeling paste. Now this is what I'm gonna use actually my palette knife. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some of that out. And then I can mix in some paint with it. And the ratio is less paint, more modeling paste. Because again, what I'm trying to do is thicken that up so that it's really, really gonna give me that impasto effect that I'm looking for. Once that's thickened, again, I'm just gonna clean my palette knife. I'm gonna go back to a painting knife, and now this is where we're gonna add all of that delicious fun of just smushing it on and really letting it be hyper dimensional. And you can draw into it. You can do little tiny patterns like so. You can take some of the palette knives that have some more interesting tips. You can drag it through and give it some texture. So if you're creating a landscape of some kind, you can make there be like wind blowing through it. And then of course, whenever you're ready for your next color, you just take more of this really thick modeling paste and you mix it in. And then you just play around with it. If for, it, it. The thing about this is you have to kind of be forgiving to yourself. You can't be a control freak about it and I, Love that. I actually like it when it's not totally blended, so I kind of have some stripes in here. So now I can kind of create a little bit more dimension. I can play around with this and let it be what it's gonna be. You can see you can carve in here. You can even, if you want that nice stark white, I love this, you can just use the modeling paste straight out of here to be whatever you want 
and come into it. And if you look at this finish piece right here, you can see that's just what I've done with the clouds to give it all that hyper dimension. So if you are looking to loosen up, I suggest you give Painting with a Knife a try. It worked for Pissarro and it probably will work for you.